Hey guys, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are reviewing the Ray-Ban Kernel Sunglasses. So first off, let's go ahead and pop these sunglasses on face and talk about the dimensions. These have 61 millimeter lenses and a 17 millimeter bridge, and this is the larger size of the sunglasses. Ray-Ban also does produce a standard size, which has 58 millimeter lenses and the same 17 millimeter bridge. So as far as looks go, I actually really do like the larger size on my face. I think it really fills out the look of the frames the smaller size in my opinion doesn't look quite as good but definitely for people who do have smaller faces I would definitely recommend getting the small size so again these are the 61 millimeter size which is the large so keep that in mind for this review so of course like every pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses they have a painted on Ray-Ban logo here in the top right corner of the sunglasses and they also have an etched RB logo here in the middle left of the lens these sunglasses are all made in Italy, and they actually sit here in the inner right temple of sunglasses. They say Ray-Ban made in Italy, and then here up top on the top bridge, we also can see they say Ray-Ban made in Italy, and that's actually etched here into the gold frames, which looks really, really nice. Now, about two years ago, I actually reviewed the Ray-Ban General, and here is what the Ray-Ban General look like. And I honestly think the Ray-Ban General look a little bit better than the Ray-Ban Colonel do, and that might be why they named these a General, because they're a little bit, you know, higher ranking than the Colonel sunglasses. But either way, I actually really like the look of both these. I just think for my face, the Ray-Ban Generals are going to look a little bit better. So let's go ahead and pop the Colonel back on uh, face and take a closer look at some of the cool features here on the frames. So of course we have that tall bridge here up at the top. So they are a double bridge pair of sunglasses and it is a very long and nice bridge. It's a metal sweat bar versus like an acetate sweat bar that would be found on the Ray-Ban Outdoorsman. I think that adds a lot of extra character uh, to these frames. I really like the square look of these frames as well. I think it looks really good compared to the more uh, I guess you would call these maybe Obiwer lenses here on the Ray-Ban General. These definitely have more squared off lenses on the Colonel. Now taking a look at the outside temples, we can see they have Ray-Ban's newer and improved temples. So they're actually flat temples here, but they are gonna be a little bit more sturdy than the circular temples found on a classic pair of Ray-Ban aviator sunglasses. These have all metal hinges, which feel really, really good when open up and when closing them, they just feel very nice and premium. They actually feel a lot better than the standard pair of aviator style sunglasses, again, with those uh, cylindrical uh, temples. If we take a look here in the middle left of the lens, we can see they say Ray-Ban RB 3560, which is the model number, and it says the kernel there as well for authentication purposes. These sunglasses also have very nice uh, ear rests, which feel very good behind the ear, and they also have uh, fully adjustable nose rests, which have a little RB logo there for authentication purposes through them, and with those fully adjustable nose rests, you can adjust them to your liking, so that makes the sunglasses very comfortable, and you can wear these for long periods of time without any discomfort. Now, as far as lens quality. These have very good lens quality. They have Ray-Ban's all glass lenses or their crystal lenses, which have the best clarity out of any Ray-Ban sunglasses. And these of course are going to block 100% UVA and UVB rays. This particular pair is not polarized. If it did, it would have a little P there in the top right corner of the uh, logo on the lens. But the optical clarity of Ray-Ban's all glass lenses are definitely very good. And what's also great about Ray-Ban's all glass lenses is they are very scratch resistant unlike their plastic lenses, which are much easier to scratch up. So if you drop these sunglasses or if you scrape them a little bit, they're going to hold up a lot better than, again, their plastic lenses are going to be, which is also really nice. Now, because they do have all uh, glass lenses, they're going to be a little bit top heavy here because glass lenses are always very heavy. But again, you can still definitely wear these sunglasses for a long period of time without any discomfort because they do a really good job of uh, dispersing the weight here across your face, even behind the ears, which is very nice. So overall, I think they very cool pair of sunglasses and I think you guys are definitely going to like these a lot. They just have a really cool and unique style to them. You really don't see a lot of people wearing these sunglasses outside. I've definitely seen a lot of people wearing the Ray-Ban Generals and I've also seen you know hundreds or thousands of people wearing the classic Ray-Ban Aviator sunglasses. So if you're looking for a pair of sunglasses they're going to make you stand out a little bit from the crowd but are still going to have a very good price to them and also a very good build quality and sunglasses that are of course made in Italy. The Ray-Ban 
Man kernel definitely might be for you. As far as pricing goes, these are gonna run you around $150 for non-polarized lenses. And if you opt for the polarized lenses, they're gonna run you closer to $200. However, I definitely recommend picking these up on Amazon. Usually you can save about $30 to $40 off them on a pair from Amazon. So again, I'm going to leave a link in description down below for you guys to check out these sunglasses directly on Amazon. Hope you guys can save a lot of money by doing that. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give me a big thumbs up down below. And of course, make sure to subscribe button and then be notified every single time about a brand new video, just like this one to my YouTube channel. Again, thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.